Hello everybody. I have a grocery haul today I wanted to show you and uh, so here we go. All right you see here I got a big old turkey. I got this at Aldi's it's for 87 cents a pound and this is roughly I think an 18 pound turkey. It only cost you 15 bucks for that butterball. $15 you guys. So 18 pound turkey some people think oh that's a lot of meat for people. For four people well i'll probably have company over for thanksgiving as long as everything goes okay with this pandemic of course i picked up some lysol sorry about this i got it at an angle because i got some spick and span now i found the lysol at walmart it was the only place i mean uh, that was the only bottle they had left walmart limits you to one bottle of cleaner per person like why can't they have cleaner on the shelves at all times there's no sense in them not having cleaners on the shelves at all. after all these months this it doesn't make any sense that they don't have them stocked up all the time i got spick and span at a different grocery store you guys um i have some chicken livers here twice the chicken livers those are the best chicken livers i've ever had i have been on a kick with chicken livers lately and i don't do that very often it's been years since i mean i don't maybe once every year maybe a couple times uh, I mean, I mean uh, maybe once every year or maybe once every couple years I crave for chicken livers. Sometimes I don't crave for them for, them for years. But uh, my mother used to cook chicken livers a lot. So anyway, I don't know how much these were. I can't remember. Like they're like a dollar something, I think, for a container. Maybe two dollars. Usually they're not even two dollars. And I always buy two of them because sometimes you'll get some livers in there that have, they're tan looking. And some people say, oh, that's because of the way the chicken was fed. I don't believe it's the way the chicken was fed. I think there may have been something wrong with that chicken's liver, maybe, the way it died. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Because normally when I see those kind of chicken livers, I chunk them out and I just eat the ones that are dark colored because that's the ones that have the best flavor. So I got some plates. I like to use paper plates sometimes when it's just, you know, you got a lot of company over. I got some for cake, desserts, or whatever, some to eat on. Uh, let's go back over here. Oh, got a two liter Pepsi. They were on for a dollar today. Um, I picked up, this will be my third package of this, you guys. This Black Angus, I picked this up at Aldi's. And they are good. These are, um, what I call them is uh, chicken fried steak. You know, I cook them like chicken fried steak. There's four of them in here. They're cubed. And they're only, what is it? Uh, they're $4.49 a pound. And that's a good deal for that. I'm telling you, that is a good deal. And this meat tastes awesome. It's really got a good flavor. So if you like cubed steaks, go to Aldi's and get the Black Angus. I even tried their roast before. And their roast tastes so much better. I'm sorry about this thing. Keeps continuing to be focusing it out. So I'll get my finger out of there. Tastes so much better than the regular roast at the store. Because Black Angus is fed differently. Delicious, I'm telling you, it's well worth the money. And the roast and all these, the Black Angus roast, I think are cheaper at all these than going to another store and buying those hormone treated and everything, regular cows, I guess you get my drift. So I picked this up, it's a quick meal because I don't like to cook very often, you guys. I have a lot of back problems, I don't cook very often. Um, it's mainly because I work late night hours and so I'm not up early enough in the daytime to really cook which I should start cooking more but I'm lazy I'll admit to it but I get stuff like this from my husband and I as a quick meal sometimes I'll have stuff like this to just throw out and cook some chicken livers I cook you know so I picked up these as well these were on sale for a dollar a piece this is a hamburger patty with barbecue sauce on it these are for my husband because my husband don't cook because I got him spoiled <laughs> my mom and dad do a lot of cooking too so and so I got him a regular cheeseburger and I got him a chicken sandwich and that they were a dollar a piece I got this I had a coupon for this I think it was I'm just gonna say 349 I think and I got a dollar fifty cent coupon on it so I got it I got a dollar fifty off of this I've never tried the chicken and mushroom marsala before because it has wine in it wine sauce I don't know how I like that so I got a small one just a one person one that my husband and I can taste it to see how we like it. I don't know if I'll like it or not. I had a coupon to get this. This was on sale today for a dollar. It's normally a dollar something a piece. I don't know. I don't pay much attention to them because I don't buy these. But I had a coupon to get 50 cents off. So it made it a 50 cent item. When I 
after I got everything rung up and I started to scan my, my uh, coupons, the computer said that I didn't buy enough of these items. And on the coupon it said all I had to do was buy one for 50 cents off just for one. And I guess because they were on sale, maybe that's what was going on, I don't know. But the cashier, she gave it to me for free. She said, don't worry about it. We'll let you have that for free. And I'm like, well, isn't that sweet? So today turned out to be a really good day. These were on sale for three bucks, 35, uh, you get 35 bags, quart fruit size freezer bags. I like to use these not only for freezer stuff in them, but also for storage because they just seem to stay like the regular storage bags. It seems like air gets in them. You know, when you zip them up and everything, I feel I still ha I have that issue with them. So when I use the freezer bags, I don't have as much of an issue with the air getting back into the bag. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, these were on for a dollar, and I wanted to try this. It's the, um, what flavor is that? Strawberry watermelon. Oh, there it is right there. Watermelon strawberry. I'm going to try that. It's got antioxidants, electrolytes in it, no artificial flavors or sweeteners. So that would be good to try. I got two of these. They were on for four for five, dollar quarter a piece. Not a bad deal. 14 grams of protein. I drink these. Um, I don't drink a whole lot of milk, but I'll drink some chocolate milk sometimes. I'll drink, you know, and, and milk, regular milk, I'll usually use it to cook. I'll usually drink, you know, regular milk sometimes, but I don't do it. I don't drink it very often. I usually cook with it. It's like buttermilk. I'll cook with buttermilk too, but I usually use buttermilk if I'm going to make a buttermilk pie or cornbread or something. So anyway, I got this. It was $2.99 for this. This is mixed beans. It has a variety of mixed beans in there. I don't know if y'all have ever seen this at the store. This is really delicious, y'all. They are so good. There's the list of all the different things in it. They are absolutely delicious. And I think this is like $2.99, I think. And then here, I got the cats. This is her breakfast. She gets one of these little cups every morning. It's like a little three ounce cup. Or, I'm sorry, is it a three ounce cup? One in point three ounce. You know how they have the regular size cans of cat food, the little, you know, the, the narrow ones about that deep, so big array round. Um, I can feed her one of those for like three days. You know, uh, I don't give her the whole can. She eats a lot of dry food, so she gets that. And then I got her some of these to try. Well, I don't know why I got the real turkey and gravy because it's already in there, but that's okay. I thought that had a fish in it. That's why I was going to see how well she likes fish. I don't know how she, she'll like fish. This is tuna and salmon, tuna, shrimp, and white fish. So we'll see how she likes the fish. And then these are on sale for a dollar bag. In my store, they do a 10 for 10 sale. So it's like you could buy 10 of these for 10 bucks. Or you can buy 10 items. You can get different items that are a dollar a piece. And the 11th item that's a dollar, you get that for free. So you can actually get 11 items for 10 bucks. These are so good. You know, like for a quick, you know, just a quick throw together. Don't take but a couple minutes and boom, boom, they're done. Got me a big old block of cheese. It was on sale for, I think it was $2.99 or $3.99. I think more like $3.99. They didn't have the smaller ones. So I got the bigger one. And this is something new that I found. I found this at Aldi's. This is an almond Italian style cookie. I've never seen these before. They're coming out for Christmas. So I'm saving these for Christmas and I'm gonna put them on a platter. Yes, they will last that long because I already looked at the date on the back. You should look at the date. They'll last as long as they stay sealed in the package. They, they taste better if you use them before that date. But I've had cookies where I ate them a week or two weeks after the expiration date and they still tasted just as good <laughs> as the date says. Anyway, these are the cherry ones. Now those taste good. Those look like they'll be tasty. Flat round this one. And then these lemon ones. Lemon and almond. It's got the, oh wait a minute, it doesn't have an almond on there. It's lemon. So these were in red. They were $2.79 a piece, I think. They were two something a piece at all these. And then, of course, I got a bag of coconut because I'm going to make a coconut pie. I haven't made one in a few years, and it was delicious. It was a big hit. It doesn't take a whole lot of coconut, but this was the smallest bag all these had, so I went ahead and got it. This, they only had two bags of this left, so I grabbed a bag. 
pumpkin spice pretzels. Pencil, pumpkin spice covered pretzels. They look good. And then I got some uh, small tomatoes on the vine, cherry tomatoes. I have not tried this particular brand yet. They said flavor bombs. We'll see how they taste. Got some bananas. Got some dog treats for the dogs. I got, like I said, two cat toys. I think I already said that. This is an ice cream cone. And this is like a little tiger or something like that. This is made by Pet Fresh. And it's nature's it's, it, this is a uh, $6.99 for this roll and they have another beef roll with salmon in it and i think some vegetables in it they were $5.99 they also have chicken uh rolls of this made with chicken in different prices you they have a cooler in the pet section and that's where they keep them at my dogs they really like that some days they don't want much of anything you know it's just like us they get tired of eating the same thing sometimes so we have to change up their food Seems like all the time. I have a 16 year old dog. He's going blind and deaf, so we try to give him whatever he'll eat because he's not going to be with us much longer, you guys. Um, so I got some of this puppy pedigree. I couldn't find any of the regular, they were out, so I've had decided to go ahead and get the puppy because it has chunks. And what I like to do is I'll take a package of this, I'll cut a slice of this off. Because if you'll see, they have a measurer. I have a little marks right there to mark, measure off a fourth, you know, a fourth of a pound uh, per dog, depending on how big the dog is. You may have to cut more, and I will pour some of that on top of it, mix it together, kind of give them a little variety of a flavor. Or I'll take, you know, a little bit of this, and I'll put some of this on it. Or I might just give them that. You never know. I have to change it up. You know, it's like kids. You got to change it up. Uh, eight pack of Pepsi's pack of that today I, pay, I usually bring a couple with me to work and some water I'm trying really hard to cut back on my Pepsi it's been doing good until the last couple of weeks I got some seedless rye bread for my husband he really likes rye bread I like rye bread too and I bought me some earbuds five bucks for my phone because the one I'm using right now has been setting my phone off so I think what's going on is one of the wires in the cord is you know screwing up they don't last long but they're only five bucks not bad they work pretty good they got a microphone in them then i decided to get me this for the christmas holiday coming up i'll start wearing this when i go shopping and stuff isn't that pretty only 3.99 i really like the ones walmart had but now they don't have any more they got these different ones i don't really care for and then i'm gonna do a review on this Sour Patch Kids Berry. I won't do it tonight because I'm really tired. So I will try to do a review on this. And I have a couple of other snacks I wanted to do. So I'll probably do them all in one video. I don't know. I may just do them all in one video. We'll see. Have a drink and a couple of candy snacks or something like that. That's all. I think that's what I'll do. All right, you guys. Well, that's everything. This came to a total of just around the middle of 95 96 dollars all this came to no i'm sorry part of this at one store came to be like 95 bucks 96 bucks not counting the turkey from aldi's the bee from aldi's not counting um the cookies i forget how much those were now my goodness probably 25 30 bucks i guess um, I forget. I'm just rounding it off to that. Coconut came from there. So probably between $20 to $25. So it was over $100. And I ended up saving like six, seven, eight, almost 10 bucks in coupons. And then I also got this for free. So that was an extra 50 cents that I saved for free. Or a dollar, you could say. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new here, you know what to do. If you don't, I'll tell you. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one of my videos. But you need to make sure you hit the notification bell over to the right-hand side of that subscribe button. Hit the button again and turn and then turn on. You'll see three different choices. Hit all, and that way you'll make sure. I mean, that way you'll get all of my videos. Each time I post one, you'll get notified. You'll get a notification. All right, you guys. 
Thanks for stopping by again, and I will talk to y'all later. I'm going to go put this stuff away. Bye.